It's another win, nonetheless, this time in a bit different fashion. The three ball wasn't really the key for the win. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I, yeah, no, it wasn't, man. Um, look, I get asked all the time, you know, what's what's the identity? What's the identity? What's the identity? First and foremost, the identity needs to be you got to guard. You got to guard. And then the then the, the, the next part is you got to be together. Period. Whatever that means. I mean, stylistically, you need to be able to play fast. If it's a slow down game, because the other team walks it up, you need to be able to play slow. You need to be able to handle press. You need to be able to handle zone. <laughs> you know what I mean? You need to be able to guard in different ways, switch ball screen, show, drop. you got to be able to be a complete basketball team. And if they throw you a slider, hit it. They throw you a curve, hit it. It's a sinker. It's a fastball. you got to be able to handle it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the truth is I, we won that game, I think, through grit, through grit more than anything. And then, you know, I wouldn't say composure at the end. It was some crazy turnovers. But we made some defensive plays and got out in transition, got some easies off some steals. And uh, ultimately, we made a lot of twos at the rim. I mean, they were clearly saying, look, you're not going to beat us by the three. And we'll say, okay, we'll get 87 attack in the paint. <laughs> and uh, you guys had some foul trouble with the guards early. Yeah. Uh, Lindsey got in some foul trouble. Tommy Moore had some foul trouble. We also saw the freshman. Jacob Cooper had the career high in minutes, and he shined with 19 points. How many it, free throws did he make? He had a lot of free 45. throws. 45? Yeah, had, like yeah, probably around there, 70 maybe. <laughs> what, what has he done for this team coming in as a freshman, being able to run the offense to how he does? He's composed. You know, for, I mean, I, if, his dad's, if, his dad, if his dad and mom are still watching, uh, they're going to uh, laugh at me when I say this. I mean, he's composed, but he wasn't versus the press. Uh, too many plays he was. He was trying to make the home run play when he was simple and made the simple play and was calm versus the press. He's got that thing on a string. He's got great feel. He just needs to be, you know, that's the very first time he's uh, he's kind of been the closer. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's an elite closer because he's got phenomenal handle and feel and he's quick as lightning. And so he's going to be an amazing closer in his career. Uh, he just needs to not try to get the home run unless it's wide, wide, wide. Uh, but, you know, he's a good ball player. He can handle the ball. He can touch paint. He can hit shots. He's got good feel. Um, it, he's still got to mature with the fouls. He's still got to mature with the fouls. But he guards well. He slides his feet. He, he just got to mature with the fouls. But not, he's not the only one. I mean, and Chandler fouled two three-point shooters. He Coop fouled one. Tommy fouled one. I mean, we did not play. And, and, and when he gets a really good team, I don't think they played great. And I know we did not play very well. Uh, we played tough. I don't think we played smart. I think we played tough. Uh, we didn't hit shots when we played. It was the tough, it was the gritty, um, ultimately, that I think got it done for us. Um, but we got to play smarter. We got to execute better. Um, uh, but it's good. You know, you don't play great uh, and you don't shoot great. It's good that you can you can figure out a way to get the dub. And we talked bright and early this morning about Jared Sherfield and his yeah. what he means to the team. He had a couple pick sixes today. He did, man. He did. He and I have had a love-hate relationship for uh, <laughs> uh, in regards only in regards to uh, – shooting the gap or not. I think the way we're defending this year, he's got a little more liberty to say, screw it, and jump that and shoot the gap. He's elite at that. And uh, he had some huge ones, man. He had some huge ones. He played well. He was he was so mad at me. Uh, just to clarify, our relationship uh, uh, off the court in general is love, love, all across the board. Uh, uh, um, but he uh, he got mad at me uh, in the first half when I subbed him out. I mean, we're playing 95 guys, you know. It's, it's, it's hard. He got mad. I told him, don't, don't start that. BS. Uh, oh, that's what's PG version. Uh, and and I'm, I'm proud of him for staying locked in and yeah. being ready to go. And he had a great second half. It was a tight game for majority of the game. Yeah. You had uh, a Gwet come up with some huge blocks and defensive stops. First time we've really seen him take over a game on both offense and defense. Sure. Yeah, how about that? He did it in our first scrimmage. We scrimmage a team. He had that. It was it was almost a replica uh, where he had the uh, – it, was, it might have actually been the reciprocal, uh, but this time he had the block and then coast-to-coast -coast tip put back. Mm -hmm. I remember in a scrimmage he got a tip put back and then coast-to-coast -coast in trans, went and blocked it at the rim. He did it today. Um, yeah, he was really good rim protection, and he was also really good guarding Cottingham. You know what I yes. mean? It's pretty good to have a 6'8 guy that can guard the, the one and, okay, now we need you to send that pain block stuff. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's as good a defender as there is in, in the league. There's no question about that. Coach, the winning continues. I appreciate it, brother. Good win as good always. Man. Thank you. Yes, sir, we'll see you Tuesday in Newberry. I can't.